Hello there, welcome to the program. Well, polls have just closed in the Catalan regional elections in Spain and the result could have national consequences. If he wins, the regional president has promised to hold a referendum on independence from the rest of Spain. Catalonia is already the richest region in Spain and many people there feel they're being dragged down by the economic crisis in the rest of the country. Well, Barnaby Phillips is in the regional capital, Barcelona, and he joins us now. Barnaby, we know that turn up is out. Do we have any other details at this stage? In the last few moments, Julie, we've seen exit polls, literally in the last 30 seconds. So I've got them rather uh, garbled. But what they seem to show is uh, the governing party, Convergencia, which is in favour of a referendum, uh, losing uh, a share of the vote, coming ahead comfortably the largest party, but falling short of an absolute majority and falling short of its share of the vote in 2010. But other pro-independence parties or pro-referendum parties, particularly uh, the left party, have done very well. So we're talking about an exit poll, Julie, but the picture seems to be that parties which are in favour of holding a referendum in inde on independence will have a majority, a clear majority, uh, in the new Catalonian, uh, Catalonian Assembly, I'm sorry, if this exit poll is correct. Perhaps I should bring in a regional expert at this point. Uh, his name is Jordi Munoz. He's a, a political analyst at the University of Barcelona. Uh, I was trying to interpret what I was just reading 30 seconds ago, Jordi. I, I, is that correct? The majority in this new assembly will want a referendum on independence. Yeah, the, the pro-referendum parties, if the exit poll is correct, will have more than two-thirds of the seats in the new parliament. So the pro-referendum bloc is clearly a majority, an overwhelming majority, I would say, in the new parliament. But it is nonetheless a, a messy result if this exit poll is correct, is it not? Because it would seem there is now going to have to be some coalition building here in Catalonia. Yeah, it's, it's quite different from the pre-election polls and I would say that as the campaign ha has gone on, the, the government party has been falling a, a little bit in their expectations, probably because, you know, we are in the midst of, of a huge economic crisis and all governments in Europe are suffering some electoral punishment. So, in other words, just to try and make it clear, a majority of Catalonians seem to have voted for a referendum on independence, but at the same time, they have not flocked in larger numbers to the party that was driving this process. Yeah, yeah. They, they have spread uh, across the different parties that, that support the process. So I would say this will have to be a, a coalition process or, or a, a shared process from now on, if that's correct. And your, your, your gut instinct, having seen the exit poll projections, is a referendum, a consultation, call it what you will, closer now than it was yesterday? I think it's as, as close as, as it was yesterday. The, the, as long as the pro-referendum parties have a majority and they are willing to, to keep their promise of holding the referendum in the next term, I think in one way or another we will see something similar to a referendum happening in Catalonia rather soon, I would say. Jordi Munoz, thank you very much for joining us live with instantaneous reaction to an exit poll which is throwing up all sorts of fascinating signals. Stay with us here on Al Jazeera English from Barcelona throughout the evening as we try and make sense of this important evening in Catalonia. You certainly will, Barnaby. Thank you very much for that update live there from Barcelona.